Hey guys, this is Naveen here. Welcome back to Naveen Automation Lab. So one more interesting, very interesting Java interview question. Why hash map key should be immutable in Java and why string is the most popular hash map key in Java? Because strings are immutable. We cannot change the value. Or, I mean, we cannot change the state of the object for strings. So this is a very good, really good question. And a lot of people, they ask this question at a time of interview and some really good companies. So you should know that why hash map key is always a string the most popular hash map key is a string always or immutable objects instead of mutable objects so to understand this what exactly i'm saying uh, doing is that let me just create one class over here that is a mutable class i'm going to create and let's see this is the employee class okay and in this employee class i'm having only uh let's see only two variable which is like for example let's see public a string maybe name of the employee and I'm going to write public integer age of the employee and then I'm going to create the constructor of uh, so let me quickly create uh, generate some constructor and click on generate I don't need super keyword so just remove it and then I want to create some uh, getter and setters also so simple let's create source and getters and setters as well let me just select all and click on generate and then at the same time I want to um, generate its hash code method I want to override hash code and the equals method as well so simple go to source hash code and this one and click on this so you can see one equals method got created and this is coming from the object class and hash code will be calculated on the basis of this calculation so I'm using hash code and equals I'll tell you in some time so let's see this is the employee class that I have created then I have another class testmap.java and in this testmap.java I'm going to create one hash map over here and uh, instead of uh, string key I'm using the employee key over here it means employee type of key I can store it and the value could be anything for example let's see value is another uh, string over here like that and then I'm going to create let's see this is my employee map which is equal to new uh, hash map I'm going to create with the same uh, employee key and uh, string uh, value over here like that and import your hash map and then in this particular employee map I can store the value uh, as a key as employee object so I'm going to create the object of employee class first so let's see employee e1 which is equal to new uh, employee and here I can pass name and age so for example let's say I'm passing name is Naveen and age is let's see 20 fine then uh, what exactly I'm gonna do in this particular employee map I'm going to add dot put method and simple even employee I'm going to add and uh, a string let's see employee is uh, you know available or not or maybe any string that you want to pass let's see employee got uh, uh, salary hike or not so salary hike yes I simple write it like this any string that you want to write it over here or employee is uh, let's see uh, permanent or contract based so let's see permanent simple and then what exactly I'm gonna do that I simple write system dot dot println at the same time I want to fetch the value with the help of even dot get and uh, uh, not given dot get sorry employee map dot get method I'll be using it so I'll get method means you pass the key and get the value so in this case my key will be what my key is employee even because employee object is a type of uh, key over here so I'm passing even object reference for the employee class so what will happen when you pass e1 so you will be getting e1 is permanent over here it means uh, when you run this program so you can see that okay you are getting permanent so this is simple but the actual problem will occur now see this carefully let's see what if i have setter method also i can set another uh, age let's see employee age got updated and this hash code is actually using this age also to calculate the hash code age and name both are getting a uh, use to calculate the hash code value so as we know that okay inside the hash map so what happens when you add this particular uh, value in this particular map so so let's see how exactly hash map first of all will store these uh, uh, you know this object inside the hash map object so I'll come over here and let's see this is my hash map object like this and let's see in hash map we know that number of segments are available 0 1 2 three four and five and we know that hash map will store the value on the basis of key and value 
in our case the key is what the key is employee mutable class right and then we have created one object e1 so what will happen we have written e1 comma whatever the value in our case we have written permanent over here so what exactly it will do that this hash code will be calculated for this particular key and in our case key is what e1 right so this is my key over here like that so what will exactly it will do let's see the hash code uh, is coming something like this one two three four five six java will calculate on the basis of your hash code implementation like this this we have already overridden right and in this hash code implementation we are using both name and age together to calculate the hash code remember this point so let's see hash code is coming some number like that and then on the basis of that it will calculate the index let's see index is coming as one it will do some modulus operation and something like this and then modular operator and operations and then we are getting the index is equal to one it means you go to the first index to store the value so it will go to the first index over here and the value will be stored like this what is the key the key is e1 what is the value the value is permanent like that and what is the hash code one two three four five six like this it will be stored over here right but the actual problem will start when see this very carefully this is the main thing now so what exactly I'm going to do that we have number of setters available in this particular employee class. It means I can set the name also, right? I can change or update the names for the same object. So I simply say that, okay, fine for the same object, e one dot set uh, name is equal to, or let's see the name is uh, same. I just want to update the age. So let's see set age over here and age is, let's say instead of 20 now, Naveen is 25 years old, for example, like that. Fine. Now what will happen? even dot set age it means i have changed one property over here now this object is having a naveen and 25 and then again you try to get even from here uh, what exactly the value of even what will you get let's see so when you run this program and in this case you are getting null over here why because again it will try to calculate the value hash code of even so hash code of even in this case right now what so see this now earlier even is having two values right guys earlier it was having Naveen and the age is 20 so on the basis of that hash code got created calculated but now the even is after setting the value we have Naveen and the new age is 25 so on the basis of that it will calculate the hash code once again so it will calculate the hash code for the new even let's see this time we are getting four five six seven eight nine this is the hash code we are getting it and then it will calculate the index so let's see the index is coming in this case let's see index number is equal to four for this particular hash code and it will go to the index number four and it does not have any value it means null is available over here so that's why we are getting null this is the biggest problem with the mutable objects right then in the next line let's see if you try to write it something like this again in this particular employee map you try to put the value this time once again even dot let's see this is i'm writing a temporary employee so what will happen again it will calculate the hash code of even hash code of even is for example let's see this one and we are getting uh, four five six seven eight nine index is equal to four so now what will happen if you have written line number 25 even with temp will be stored over here temp means the the temporary employee will be stored over here and this one four five six seven eight nine so it will create a new entry one more entry for the same object even and even so likewise it will consume a lot of memory if you try to update the value and try to uh, insert the value with the put method once again inside the hash map so this is the biggest problem with the mutable objects right because it will always create a new entry and then it will always create a new hash code and then it will create a new entry like that tomorrow if you want to change the name also again maybe you never know that okay which value uh, a hash code will be coming hash code will be giving you what index and then a new value will be stored over here along with the new hash code like that right so that's why this is we are getting what we are getting null over here if you uh, comment it out this line why because we are not inserting a new more value but this time we have updated 20 to 25 and when you calculate the hash map once again a new hash code will be generated and it's pointing to some other index now we are getting null over here because on that index uh, nothing is available so that's why we are getting null right so that was a problem with the mutable objects now i'm going to create one one more object over here with the one more hash map over here let's see hash map number m1 
the name is m1 which is having a string type and uh, some value is also let's see some integer type okay both the sides i'm going to write it now see the advantage with this okay this is a string type and then in this particular m1 i'm just going to put a value uh let's see the string is a tom and he got around 100 marks <clears throat> like this fine then i'll simply say system dot or print ln my hash map is m1 dot get i'll pass give me the value of tom how many score uh, he what is the score for tom so we are getting 100 over here which is absolutely fine now tomorrow if you really want to change the value so what is happening here when you store m1 dot put tom right the key is tom over here so what will happen in this case the hash map again will be created so in this particular hash map let's see this is a new hash map which is pointed by m1 and the segments are available over here 0 1 2 3 4 and 5 and so on we have tom as a key and uh, 100 marks he got right guys so for tom string hash code will be created let's see hash code is coming 1 2 3 4 5 6 and it will be cached actually because our strings are what strings are immutable objects and it will be stored inside some cache memory so it will be cached over here fine what is the advantage of this i'll tell you and on the basis of this let's see we are getting the index which is equal to let's see at number two it means go to the number two and whatever the value <coughs> uh, key is a uh, tom the value is 100 and the hash code is one two three four five six will be stored over here and the index is two that we have calculated so what will happen the another advantage the moment we write line number 34 m1 dot get tom it will again try to calculate the hash code of tom no it will not calculate it will directly go there okay yeah for this particular hash code is associated with tom and this entry is already available inside the cache it will go to the cache it will check okay yeah for tom what is the hash code one two three four five six index is equal to two so it will not calculate the hash code and it will not calculate the index one more time it will just simple check okay yeah inside the cache for tom one two three four five is already available index is equal to two so it will directly go to the two tom got match and it will return 100 over here like that so that's why the operation will be very fast in this case this is the first advantage that's why if you run this program you are getting 100 over here fine <clears throat> so it is not consuming memory it is not uh, uh, first of all taking time it will be fast as compared to the mutable objects now another thing is that if you try to update the value for example let's see if i try that m1 dot i'm writing let's see key got updated from tom to naveen and the score is let's see 200 in that case and then again you write see this m1 dot a uh, naveen over here so again it will calculate that okay fine for naveen what will happen it will not override the tom value for naveen again it will calculate one more hash code for naveen let's see hash code is some number and the index is equal to three in this case so naveen will be stored over here like this right and then the whatever the 200 and with the hash code so what happens over here when you try to fetch tom once again or let's see when you try to fetch naveen over here once again what will you get for naveen you will be getting 200 okay so let's run it and let's see for naveen you are getting 200 over here fine but <coughs> see okay we have already printed over here so no need to write it so naveen is getting 200 but if i'm writing uh, m1 dot get for tom right guys so what will happen for tom so in this case if i'm running it again for tom is giving you 100 over here because tom is still there inside the memory it will calculate the cache and then it will uh, simple give it to you over here but for example let's see the tom instead of writing directly over here i simply create one string like this let's see string e1 which is equal to tom see this carefully and uh, instead of tom i'll be writing let's see e11 e1 we have already taken so e11 i'm writing it fine and then i simply say okay fine give me the value of e11 so e11 is what 100 you will be getting it so you can say that okay yeah 100 you are getting it for naveen you are getting 200 and then what exactly i'm gonna do that i simple update the value of e11 like this now e11 is equal to naveen let me remove a string from here fine and the same e11 i'll pass it over here so what is happening here that i have updated the value now for a string 
and we know that a string property is that strings are immutable. Tom is still there inside the memory with the hash code. One more entry will be created for Naveen with the new hash code and then E11200 will be stored on a new index over here. So when you pass E11 over here, see this carefully and let me remove this line for time being. What will you get when you pass E11? Greatest value of E1 is equal to Naveen and you will be getting 200 over here, which is the expected result. But what about the Tom key? If you directly pass the Tom as a key, it will not be destroyed. Tom is still there inside the hash map with the same uh, key and the, uh, uh, the previous hash code of the Tom. Now you run it again. For Tom, you will be getting 100 over here. This is the advantage you will be getting with respect to a string because strings are immutable. So as I show you over here that uh, uh, initially Tom is there like that. And then I create a new entry with Naveen. And when you try to say that, okay, fine, give me the value uh, from the map m1.get uh, and give me the value for Tom. So it will come over here immediately. The Tom hash code is already available over here inside the cache. It will check, okay, one, two, three, four, five, immediately go to the second position and get hundred from here like that. So this Tom entry will not be overridden like that. Okay. So this is the advantage guys that you always be getting with respect to uh, immutable objects. So that's why it is always recommended whenever you are creating hash map, the key should be immutable objects. You will get a, you will get better performance and the better control on the code. Otherwise you will start getting these kind of uh, serious problems over here like that. I hope it's clear a very famous interview question and such a nice question with respect to hash map keys. Okay, so thank you so much guys. Thanks for watching this video. I hope you liked it. Please uh, share and subscribe to the channel and uh, let me know if you have any other issues with respect to hash map. Thank you. I'll see you in the next video. Bye-bye.